as I'm sure you can probably tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, sad day, sad freaking day. This is my adult female E. Marinus. I'm sure as you guys know, and she passed away a couple days ago. I mean, as you can tell, her abdomen's pretty flat. That's because when they pass away, their abdomen usually flattens out. This is one of the tarantulas that I've featured a lot on my channel, and even though I have losses here and there, like, unless it's one that I'm showcasing a lot on the channel, I usually don't do like a dedicated video, but I know some of you guys have favorites, and I am sure she's somebody's favorite out there so i just wanted to let you guys know that she did pass away she is my first intermediate tarantula that i ever got um my first defensive tarantula you could say for the most part i got her as an adult female like four years ago ephibopus species i feel like they don't live as long as other species of tarantulas so getting her as an adult i kind of already knew that you know i didn't have like 30 years of her, you know. But I hope to have like five, you know, or so, and, and we got close. We we have, have had about four, I think. So yeah, as you can see, um, she's actually not in death curl. Typically when a tarantula does die, they typically curl up or they start to curl up even before they die. For her, I knew that this was coming. She's molted with me like four times. <laughs> and like I said, she was already an adult when I got her. So like she, she did good. I remember when I first got her, it took a while for her to adjust. And then like she really got creative. And then last October, I believe it was, we did a video where we gave her this really cool spooky enclosure and I remember you know I really wanted her to web this all up and you know she's a skeleton leg tarantula so I hoped that she would make it like really spooky and decorate it awesome which of course we could count on her to do that she did an amazing job and I'm I'm just really sad about this loss this is one of those you know tarantulas that I've really like kept for a long time and showcased a lot and you know just really love taking pictures of and filming her she's just she was one of my best. She helped me build this channel. Like, you know, she, I remember with my 1,000 subscriber feeding video, I think I opened that <laughs> video with her actually eating a gummy worm. So there's just certain moments that I remember having her for, and it's really sad. It, it is really sad, especially when it's one of my favorite species. So we're gonna preserve her. I have this little jar, and it doesn't seal as good as others, but you know, sometimes the alcohol will just evaporate a little bit, but it should be fine. Uh, I've done this a million times. I've had no issues, other than sometimes I need to top off the alcohol. But um, to preserve tarantulas, I just use this, 91%. The higher percent, the better. I'm glad she like came out instead of passing away in here because I feel like I would have would have not known for longer. She looks fine. She doesn't like really look decayed or anything. I'm surprised there's no like mites. So let's get her in here. We'll just do it like this. Nothing crazy. Just do that. And then so what I'm going to do is just cover all the way up to the top and that is a very easy way to preserve a special tarantula that you might want to keep So what I wanted to do um, is actually talk a little bit about this. Um, so I do actually have another E. Marinus. I picked up a couple slings a couple years ago. Right off the bat, one of them didn't make it, but this other one I've managed to get growing quite well, but she is super fast. She is right down in this hole. She's made this really awesome turret. Yeah, I see her little feet down there, but it's, it's really hard to see. But um, yeah, she's super fast 
and pretty feisty and she's grown a lot so the good news is is that this e marina seems to be thriving and growing as as one would hope and she's grown enough i think to where we could give her a new larger enclosure because she's in one of my old classic target cubes like <laughs> that's how long i've been growing this one out she she was around i think before tarantula cribs was even a thing but yeah since we did that rehousing video uh shadow i had a medium slider available because I rehoused Shadow who was in this and so yeah I cleaned it up. I wanted to reuse this medium slider for somebody and I figured this e Marianus would be perfect. If we can manage the rehousing, I think the rehousing is going to set. By golly, we're gonna do it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do lots of substrate obviously because from, from what we can tell here, she is a substrate queen. She loves to be underground. So it's always good to start off with lots of substrate. I think that this might be like kind of big for her, but it's fine, like it'll work out. We're just going to do like one simple little piece of substrate, I think, with like a hole just like this. And I know it's like very minimalistic, but I'm telling you, like she is a burrower. And I think the more room she has to burrow, the better it will be in her case. So we're just doing this. It's just going to give her like a little starter burrow. And I'm saying her hoping that it's another female. I don't know um, yet. I haven't really seen her enough. Uh, she's like never out so and of course we are going to do a little water dish the species does like to be somewhat humid so I feel like it's gonna take a minute to really get her out and I'm afraid I'm gonna have to chase her should I do some moss yeah let's do some moss really quick though yeah we'll do a little bit of moss here's here's some moss moss is always good We love moss. Let's do it like this. Yeah. That looks cool. I did my nails. Just kidding. <laughs> Pretty simple setup, but everything she'd like. I wish I had like a bone or something to put in there. I like to be cliche and put bones in with my skeleton legs, but it's fine. I wonder if I should, I'm gonna get a bin. I'm gonna get a bin and we're gonna dig her up. I think that's what we're gonna do. This is a good idea. <laughs> okay, this might be kind of dramatic, but I have this giant bin because I just bought it to like put some stuff into storage, but we're gonna use it really quick because this way we'll know where she's running. And this is a pretty like foolproof way I feel like to rehouse. So, this is not fun. I feel bad like destroying this, you know? She's probably like in this. I wonder if it would be easier. I didn't even realize this was a piece of cork. Ugh. Didn't even realize that. Okay. Okay, so she's gotta be in here somewhere. Right? Uh, oh my God, she's been in there this whole time. <laughs> oh, I was about to freak out. I was like, where did she go? Okay, I'm putting my hair back now that we have established we know where she's at. So yeah, I, I oh, let me show you guys. Right there, I see one of her feet. Thought she was like in here hiding somewhere or in this cork over here. See, here she is. Oh my God, that is a way bigger foot than I was expecting. I know. 
Oh my god, she is huge! Oh my god, she is way bigger than I thought she was. I have not actually seen her above ground in forever. Oh my gosh, girl, it is way, way time for a rehousing. She's so big. But like, look at that. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. That is so much bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> They're so fast. Okay, we're making progress though. We're making progress. Let's try going. Nope. No! <laughs> See, I was completely right to do this tub. I told you guys, like, they are insane. They are super cool, but they are insane little freaking lightning bolts. What if I just took this from you? Like that. Okay, all right. We're, we're making good progress, and I just did this. Can I do this? Okay, if she'll let me. If you would just move like a normal freaking spider. Oh! <laughs> you see what I mean? Crazy, 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 crazy. <laughs> oh my God, you are literally, can you just have some patience? Just have a little bit of patience. Okay. She's right there, and that is not where I wanted her to be, because now she's probably gonna jump right back out. Okay, I, I got a cave for you. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. You don't wanna come up here. This species, it's, it's got to be one of my favorites. Um, I am very happy to see that, that this little one has become a much bigger one. And I'm really hoping this is another female. I know this is like a captive bred one and it would just be so cool. I'm glad we could end this on somewhat of a positive note. I'm really sad that we lost my adult female Emeranus, but it is really cool that I... <laughs> Fortunately purchased these slings a while ago and we're finally getting like another Emeranus with some size Hopefully I can feature her more and yeah, um, I don't even know what to name this one yet Um, I, I don't even know so let me know if you have any thoughts Like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're not and you want to be don't forget I'm an Instagram and it's probably way too much as at You can go follow me there. I also have a patreon podcast and a teespring it is all linked down below